Under the auspices of President of Mongolia, Hural Sukhukhna, the 8th Congress of Mongolian Teachers is taking place at the State Palace of Mongolia on April 11th to 12th, 2024. Today, on the second day of the Congress, President Hural Sukhukhna delivered remarks. The 8th Congress of Mongolian Teachers, which brought together over 1,200 teachers, discussed the three-pillar policy for teacher development, preschool and general education curriculum concepts, and legal reforms in the education sector. Education is fundamental to national development and personal growth, stressed President Hural Sukh. The Future of Jobs Report 2023 by the World Economic Forum highlighted that in the forthcoming years, professionals with creativity and analytical thinking, adeptness in working with artificial intelligence and big data, and capability of leadership and influence in their society will be of crucial importance. It is momentous to pay attention to several issues in the future, such as ensuring educational quality and effectiveness, addressing disparities between urban and rural education, promoting equal and inclusive education, improving the working environment for teachers, and tackling social issues stage by stage. I'm confident that the 8th Congress of Mongolian Teachers, which is being organized under the auspices of President of Mongolia, would be historically significant for educators to discuss past shortcomings, evaluate achievements, define future policies and goals, and make a real contribution to the development of the education sector. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Mongolia swiftly launched nationwide tele-education and online platforms such as Midligamen and Suradamen to deliver educational content to students. This achievement was recognized internationally. At the Transforming Education Summit held during the 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly, Mongolia was acknowledged as a leading country in the e-transition of education. In the first phase, 105.3 billion tugruks will be allocated for social security for teachers, providing a six-month allowance to teachers in rural areas every five years. Subsequently, this allowance will be provided every three years. The 2024 state budget of Mongolia earmarked 6.9 billion tugruks for tuition fees for children of teachers and education sector employees who have constantly worked for more than 15 years in the sector enabling them to study in demanding and leading professions. During the sessions of the 8th Congress of Mongolian Teachers, participants proposed a wide range of suggestions. These suggestions were combined and deliberated at the plenary session, resulting in a list of key issues to be addressed in the near future. Notably, low wages and social security concerns of teachers were also raised during the Congress. The 8th Congress of Mongolian Teachers, being held under the auspices of President of Mongolia, and the speeches delivered show that Mongolia has effectively organized many educational initiatives. In my opinion, scientists, researchers, and universities should collaborate more effectively and consolidate their goals. By doing this, they can create a wealth of knowledge and significantly contribute to the development of Mongolia. The government of Mongolia has implemented legal and policy reforms aimed at elevating the quality and effectiveness of education in Mongolia to international standards. Those reforms encompass six areas – curricula, assessment, teacher development, financing, e-transition, management, and governance.